Hi guys, it's Michelle. I'm here to do a quick kind of wig review type showing of a wig for you. So welcome to my channel before we begin. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you're new then welcome, I'm Michelle. I have alopecia. I'm bald. Yeah, that's it. So basically the wig that I want to show you guys today, this is um, a wig by Trendsco. It is called Suplex. It is a human hair Remy wig and it comes in a wee box like so. Um, so the shade that I have is 614R, which is described to be a medium brown with honey blonde highlights. So it's quite a natural, I would say light to medium brown overall looking shade. Um, it is definitely obviously as described medium brown base and you have all these honey highlights. Now this is how the wig comes straight from box. It's human hair. Now the Trend Co Gem Collection, they are Remy human hair. They do come unstyled. So basically this wig is 10 inches long. It's 10 inches from every part of the wig. So from the front you have 10 inches, from the sides 10, ear tabs here 10, 10 from the nape, 10 all over. So the reason that Trend Co do supply their gem collection human hair wigs unstyled and just the one length of hair, it's not a laziness thing, it's not anything like that, it's to give you ultimate freedom in having your hair styled. So it gives you a kind of approximate length that you're looking for from your hair and then it's up to yourself if you want to have like a fringe bang sort of thing cut in or if you want to have some layering cut around your face, you know, you know the drill. You go for what you want to do. Now this cap is a bit different from the majority of caps on stock wigs that are available at the moment. Sorry my phone's beeping, let's put and silent. Ah, okay. So, I'm going to show you the inside of this before I put it on. I'm not wearing it because I want to show you as it comes and then I'm going to make a couple of alterations to this for you so that if you do choose to buy one of these, I do sell them on my site at memowigs.com. I am going to pop a wee link in here and as always down below there will be a discount code for you. But I wanted to show you this straight from box before I ever put it on or anything, okay? Um, so, as it comes, this is the inside of the cap. Now, you might look at it and think, whoa, that's a bit different. Um, it is. It's a very fine polyurethane thin skin all around the perimeter here. The majority of it actually is this polyurethane thin skin. Now, that gives a wee bit of adherence to your head and unlike the material on the majority of wigs in your mesh type material if you've got extremely sensitive skin and total hair loss this can be great i have eczema especially on my hair my eczema is really bad and something lovely and smooth like this really can prevent the rub and the irritation that some people experience like myself um, without the need for wearing a cap underneath so that is lovely so this is your kind of inner wig cap it's lovely and smooth you don't feel the hairs here because it is all coated in this polyurethane thin skin what it does have though on the top section we have a single layer of monofilament here so you do feel the knots slightly here nothing major and that's just to give a bit more freedom with parting it and at the back as well we have another wee section of monofilament here as you can see with polyurethane what is lovely about polyurethane, if you're somebody who is very active and you, you really feel that you want your wig to be extra secure, and I mean with the polyurethane I feel it does actually adhere very well to the scalp and the benefit as well, you can apply tape if you want to. If you're somebody who likes to use wig adhesives, wig glues, wig tapes, by all means you can absolutely apply tape on any of this polyurethane so you can apply that right around the perimeter if you want so you can pull your hair back you can be doing your sports your exercises and have a really secure wig no matter what you're doing day or night um yeah so that's really handy and something that is really important to so many people when you are a wig wearer for me i'm kind of like if i'm doing anything and my wig comes flying off that's no odds however you know Sometimes it might be odd to me and a lot of the time the majority of people are not quite so wacky as me The majority of people that wear wigs if you're wearing a wig you want to be wearing your wig You don't want to be having your wig come loose wigs are actually very secure Generally if it's a well-fitted wig it should always be secure Anyway, 
this is just for additional security and if you do like to use adhesives or you are doing a lot of extraneous activity, it's very, very handy. So the reason I am not wearing this at the moment is because I will need to make a few amendments to this. Now I'm going to show you, I'm going to put it on and show you as it comes. Obviously you know the hair is unstyled, it's not even straightened, it's not anything. I've not even actually brushed it at this point in time. So this is obviously my wig, it's not a stock wig or I wouldn't be trying it on. Um, so I'm going to pop it on just now, I'm going to show you how you would put this on. So. The other thing that's beneficial about this, if you're not total hair loss, these are generally best for people with total hair loss, this kind of style of cap, that is what it's designed for. If you're not total hair loss and you do still have some hair, um, but your hair is cut short or maybe you shave what is remaining, um, a lot of people don't like silicone because if you're not totally smooth, then silicone can apparently pull on any hairs that you do have, whereas polyurethane doesn't tend to do that. So what I'm going to do is, you see these ear tabs at the side, I'm just going to kind of line them up, roughly side to side. I'm going to pop the front middle section here, just right here on my head, and then pull the cap backwards. Okay, so, there we go, and I'm pulling that down at the nape at the back. Now, this is very thin skin polyurethane, it's not mega thick, so I want to be gentle, I do not want to be tearing it. Now, I want to show you this wig. I'm just making sure it is nice and even, because I will have a few adjustments to make, and I'm going to show you how to do that, um, because obviously, for me, if I was going to see a customer or do a consultation or somebody was going to come to me, then I could do this for them. However, if you want to buy something like this online, you can go to a wig salon um, and have somebody do it for you. You can do this yourself if you are confident. I think I'm too zoomed in, let me zoom out a little. Okay, so this is just how the hair is sitting from having been in the box. So I will, I will play around with it. It's actually nice how it is. Okay, so if I bring this back here, you can see that it does have an amazing hairline, but what you can see, you can see this polyurethane here. You see the strip running along here. Now, I'm going to be cutting this, okay? And what I'm going to do, let me zoom you in slightly. Let you see up close how natural that kind of looks here in all these knots. I don't want to be cutting any of these fine hairs off because that's giving a very natural appearance but I will trim back close to this because that's what I do. Now the sides, as you can see, just run around here. These are the ear tabs. Now for me, these are sitting, I've got the average size suplex which is 54 centimetres. This does come in a petite cap which is 49 centimetres circumference. Now, if I flatten this right down, you can see those ear tabs are coming way far forward on me. I don't want them that far forward. So what I'm going to do is show you how you would mark this out. What I'm going to do, you can grab kind of the big long clips. I'm just going to get my hair gently, not tight, but I'm just going to gently bring this back from my face. If you have the big long clips, by all means, use the big clips for your hair. So you want this to be securely moved back, but just not pulled super tight. You don't want to be pulling anything tight. Okay, and what you want to do at this point is get all this out of your face. So I'm just using a little bobble, a little hair elastic here. Obviously use clips, use bobby pins, use whatever you want to use. Okay, now what is a good thing to do is to grab a pen. You can get a marker for a wig. What I'm going to use... Oh, Michelle. Okay, so what I'm actually going to use, this here, you can buy kind of like chalk to mark out these sort of things and with lace fronts as well to mark out before you cut. What I'm going to do is I've actually got a white eyeliner here, which I know comes off very easily. I want to use this white eyeliner and I'm going to mark out where I'm basically, I know what I'm cutting off at the front here. I know how far back I'm taking this. In regard, in the sides here, I feel that's fine. However, I don't want my, my ear tabs sitting away right down over the front of my face. I just don't. So what I'm going to do is I've got a mirror here. I'm going to look at my mirror. 
the hairs kind of pulled back. I'm going to just mark out where I want to cut this. So, I hope you can see this and I hope this works well. Um, let me look in this mirror. So I'm going to hold that flat down. I'm not taping it onto myself. That's too far forward for me. I kind of want my ear tabs to be running. What, what I'm going to do as well, I've got a bobby pin, a Kirby grip here. I'm just looking roughly to where I would want that. So I'm kind of wanting mine to run. There we go, that's the pattern I'm looking for on my wig. This is personal what you want and what you're looking for. Obviously, if you're unsure, do not do this yourself. If you're confident that you know what kind of shape of hairline you're looking for, fine. I would always, always say mark it out before you go cutting. Because once you cut that polyurethane, you can't add it back on again. Once it's cut, it's cut. So I'm just going to mark mine so that I can then take it off, look at it and cut it. As we're going to see. Okay, so what I'm looking at is this. So I would be left with this kind of shape of hairline, roughly. That for me, it's about good, it's what I'm looking for. And then the sh in regard to shape, I'm gonna mark along here. And I'm marking just a wee bit below where I want to cut, there we go. So for me, that's good for this side. And for this side, I will do exactly the same. For me, I like to use the bobby pin just to remove the hair I don't want. Okay, so I'm happy with what I've marked out here. I'm gonna pin this back. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off of my head and I'm gonna have a look at what I've marked. So I can see with my white pen where I've marked on this, my white eyeliner, sorry. Now I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors. This always, this is terrifying for me. I know what I'm doing, but even still, it's just, I just get nervous. I'm basically, effectively, what you can see I'm gonna cut is, I actually look like I'm just gonna cut that square bit of tab off from what I've marked. So we can see where I have that marked. You don't want to be tearing this, so be very careful what you're doing. I'm just gonna cut this polyurethane here. So this is what I've cut off. <laughs> I have a new eyebrow. <laughs> so, that was really straightforward there, as you can see. And I'm just gonna tidy the edge ever so gently. Beautiful. Okay, and then the same at the other side. Now, you don't have to mark it out with pencil, eyeliner, or, you know, wig marker. I do, because for me, I know that it's gonna be a bit more accurate and I'm just get it gives me an extra kind of visual to look at just for my own peace of mind. So I have those ear tabs cut. What I'm going to do in the front, I am going to trim that back. Okay. So I am just going to basically cut back to the, almost to those knots. So so my ear tabs are now. I have trimmed those. I have actually kind of removed them right from the wig, and what I'm left with is this hairline which I'm happier with. Sometimes you will have to trim the nape up, whether you want to or whether you don't. Now, the reason for that is because you need to make sure your wig is gonna lie where is best fitting for you. Now, the kind of guide is at your occipital bone here. If you put your head backwards, this is a tip from John and O. Thanks, Emily, this is from you. I've learned this. So right here where your head bends at the back, you get a natural fold where you put your hand in and that's right at your occipital bone, just at the back here. Okay, so yeah, that's that. So for me, this comes slightly below so I can trim it up a wee bit, but what I'm gonna do is do the rest of my cap, make sure I'm totally happy and then if I want to trim it up and I still need to trim it up, I will. So let's get it organized and done properly. Okay, I was so tempted to do this last night, but I was like, nope, I want to do it on a video, I want to make a video, but I was kind of also wanting to wear my wig to work last night, I was quite excited, um, I was working a night shift, and I was really excited because I was hoping my friend Andy would be on, Andy, I love you, 
So I have this friend at work called Andy. He's really awesome and he's so lovely and he just makes me laugh so much. Um, he's such good fun and yeah, it's like my wee night shift buddy because generally we always end up working together on night shifts but he wasn't on last night because he's busy working today and yeah it was funny because we would actually I'm just talking while I'm doing this sorry we were out just not long ago um, a couple of people from work were leaving and had promotions and moving on so we were all on a work night out and he was saying I was watching YouTube and I was in bed and then all of a sudden I was like that's Michelle <laughs> and he saw one of my videos popped up and he's started watching them and I'm going why are you watching my wig reviews? You, you don't wear wigs, like why? And he's like, let me just tell you Michelle, now this guy has better hair than I've ever had in my life. But um, Andy was like, let me just get this right. Probably what you like is, you like the lace front, you like a monofilament top, am I right? What's the other thing? Hand tied. And I'm like, yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> we ended up having this chat and work and it's like, two separate worlds kind of colliding. It was so cool, it was so awesome. Andy, you're so awesome. And hi, John. <laughs> Sorry, too much, too much info, man. Um, yeah, so we just all sit and chat and what he was saying. So anyway, anyway, he was watching one of the videos at home um, and his partner, John, had said, Andy, it's the middle of the night. And he said, I work with her. And I was like, cool, well, I will just mention you in one of my videos. And he said, yeah, you better. So Andy, this is you getting your mention. And John, if it's the middle of the night and that nutter is watching this video, you're not allowed to moan at him. <laughs> cause, cause crazy bald girl said so. Um, anyway guys, I need to get on with cutting this. I just talk so much. Um, yeah, so it was so funny. So we just kind of chat about everything and work and I was talking wigs and all excited about obviously wig education and the likes and why on earth I try to, to talk wigs with people who probably don't have a lot of interest in wigs is, is funny because I was talking to one girl and I'm like got this wig and it's so gorgeous and it's so long and blah 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 and then Rebecca she always wears her hair up in the coolest ever updo which I actually I love and I've started trying to do in my wigs and I will have a wee tutorial soon of the Rebecca style. Um, Rebecca's hair's down to her backside. It is so long and it's so gorgeous. So we were all sitting having a wee chat and work one night on our break. Um, obviously, obviously not when we're working. Um, yeah, so there we go. That was just a bit of random chat about nothingness while I am cutting. And you know the thing is I think I can't just be doing whatever I'm doing like just now I'm cutting this wig and I think I'll just chat while I'm doing it and that way it passes the time whereas all it does is fills you guys your ears with rubbish that you're not interested in probably and takes me twice the time so I have now trimmed that I'm going to show you what it looks like now I will tidy it up and make it more slightly more straight however as you can see that big long section that was hanging down here it was going along in front of my head. How cute is that? That's just lovely. <laughs> Look at how much makeup I've got stuck to it already. Um, yeah, so that's trimmed now. So when I put that on, you'll see. And those ear tab sections that were coming down here and here, I've now removed them so that it sits nicely with my face. Now, obviously, Trendco described this as a kind of in-between of, it's not your standard stock type of wig and it's obviously not fully custom made because it's not custom made and that it's not made to your personal measurements. So it's not. It's meant to be a kind of almost like an in-between. You have a very high quality cap which is a bit different from the norm in the bog standard um, what you would generally buy but at the same time you can buy it from the shelf. It is a stock wig. It's, it's, it's like a kind of in-between. Type. like if you're used to wearing stock human hair wigs and you're looking to go custom but you're not quite ready for it yet or you're you're unsure about what you want in a cap or, or you just want to try something different like me you just want to try out what's on the market and learn and try more um, then Suplex is something available for you now I got quite excited about I saw Suplex a few years ago and I was going to get one and I don't know why I never but I didn't so I didn't anyway so I got a Trendco Diamond 
which I liked. So I messaged one of the girls that trained, go I messaged Lana, and she's like, yep, it's the same hair that's used. It is Remy Human Hair. Um, and obviously with the sublex, it's a different cap. So now, as you can see, if I was to pull this all back and try and tie this back, it's more natural type thing. Now, I am not going to be cutting this, I don't think. Now, for this being straight from box, obviously, human hair is not going to hold its shape the same way a synthetic will. Um, I mean, human hair, it's from somebody's head, it is human hair, or from a few people's heads, and when it's been sitting in the box, it will just be a bit wavy and messy and whatever. What I'm going to quickly do is I am going to mute this video. I'm going to blast this hair dry with a hair dryer just to style more so than anything. Then I'm going to let you have a look at it as it comes like lengthwise without having been cut and show you. So I will just get some music playing for you guys while I quickly and do my hair. I'll be two seconds. Well, it won't be two seconds, but I'll be, I'll be quick. I'll be quick. See you in a minute. This would be the suplex. It is 10 inches all over, as we have said. Okay, so this is suplex from Trendco. Um, it is 10 inches all over. This is what 10 inches looks like, unsiled, um, as in uncut. I have used a hair dryer, I've blasted it dry. I have quickly ran flat iron straighteners just over it, obviously just very, very mildly, just to straighten out a bit of the king king that was there. It's gorgeous, it's really, really beautiful, and there is a good bit of length. 10 inches, people often think 10 inches doesn't sound long, but when you get 10 inches from every single part, it does kind of add to the length, and it makes it very natural. Now, if I turn around, I'm not gonna be getting this cut just now. I actually like the kind of all over layering type, 10 inches all over, I think is a lovely length. Let me turn and show you the back of it. It's really, really beautiful. Now, you've already seen the inside of the cap. Let me just show you this. Now, obviously you can see I have trimmed that back at the front here. And let me zoom you. Whee! To show you the hairline. So, there you go. Your hairline at the front, it's very natural. You can part this any direction you so desire. Now, as you can see, it looks extremely natural. This is looking the same throughout anywhere I'm parting this because we have this phenomenal polyurethane cap. It's really a wee bit like magic. It just is, it is guys. It's really gorgeous. I really love it very much. I don't know why it has taken me three years of being a bald girl to try suplex, but I'm glad I have now got round to it. Obviously, these things are all expensive and, you know, I like to be able to change my style up a lot, so I do wear synthetics often. Human hair is more expensive, it is more of an investment, certainly. Um, for me, I will wear any kind of cap construction if I love the wig enough, and I will wear a bamboo wig liner underneath to make it comfortable. The thing about suplex, you don't really need to do much to make it comfortable, it just is. And if you have eczema, you have a sensitive scalp, if you can't tolerate wigs, um, certainly this feels extremely comfortable and it feels nice and secure to me. Now, if you want to go down the route of having a full polyurethane custom fitted cap to give you more of a, I wouldn't say suction per se, but more of the kind of suction effect with the polyurethane all over skin, um, that's something that can absolutely be done and you can have that done as custom if you like to have that done as custom. Um, I obviously do custom wigs as well at Mimo Wigs. This is not custom, this is Trend Co stock. This is called Suplex. It is really, really quite beautiful. Now the fact that I've owned a few diamond, Trend Co diamond wigs in the past, I know the quality of the hair and I do like the quality of the hair and I think for what you're paying you're getting actually very amazing quality hair and it's, it's very good. Now, I am loving this cap. I would say 
if I'm comparing this cap to the likes of the Trains Co Gem Collection standard caps, for me this is going to be a win-win because for me it's comfortable, it's secure, if I want to make it even more secure I can start to use adhesives, tapes, glues if I want to. Um, I have a lot of options. I have managed to kind of customise this and just cut this back to exactly how I like that it's sitting at a good position for me. Now obviously what I like might not be what you like. Maybe you prefer to have your ear tabs coming down and um, for me that's sat too far forward. I'm going to trim this slightly more just here because as you can see it's it's not I've not made the tidiest job of it so I will tidy all this up but certainly I am really really enjoying this already it is just new what I will do is I'll keep you guys posted down below I will update the wee pinned comment and let you know how it is how it's wearing my kind of wear test to test for heat now I live in Scotland guys Scotland ain't warm Scotland I have a whole lot of self tan on and I'm probably still whiter than most people on the planet. Um, Scotland is very cold, so this time of year especially, <laughs> I can't say it's great for in the heat because I don't know. However, I'm going to Florida, I'm going to Orlando very soon and when I'm in Orlando I plan to take this hair, I plan to be wearing it. I was actually planning to go and be bald over there but I am actually thinking what better a time to try it out than a wee bit of humidity, a lot of heat, try this cap and let's see how it wears and we can give you guys a wee update. Certainly I'm really enjoying it anyway already, I'm going to keep it on for the rest of today. I know that eczema wise this is going to be a good one for me for my scalp. Um, yeah and I do have a, a different but a polyurethane custom made wig on route designed by Mimo Wigs. Um, so yeah guys, this is this is Suplex from Trendsco. Please do check out the Suplex at MimoWigs.com. Um, I will obviously offer you a 10% discount as I usually do with any wigs that I kind of review via YouTube. Um, but most importantly, this is what it looks like. This is 10 inches of unchopped hair. This is it as it comes. This is it. All I have done, blow dried it, straightened it. Lengthwise, this is what you're going to get with suplex. 10 inches sometimes, like to me in the past, I would have gone, oh 10 inches, that's not long enough. Because in my head, I'm like, no, it's not long enough, it's not long enough. But 10 inches is a good length, it is a good length. This is still, I would consider this to still be a long length wig. It's not just a medium wig, it is a long length wig. And it's really, really quite beautiful. I really love it. Anyway guys, thanks for tuning in once again. Andy, hi. I hope you're chuffed that I mentioned you in video. Um, yeah. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's try and do a wee hair up with this, will we? Just like super quick, super quick. I'm going to see how easy it is to actually, when I do any hair up styles, what I generally do is put the wig onto a mannequin head and I will style it on the mannequin head. Then I will pick up my wig and sit it on my head so it's a bit like a hairy hat and I just put on my hairy hat and walk out. Um, so because this is a bit more secure and snug and is meant to be so, let's try turning my head upside down and popping the hair up in my Rebecca style as is. Give me a second. Okie dokie. Mmm, it's a mini Rebecca. <laughs> My friend Rebecca's hair is actually down to her backside. So when she does this stuff, my daughter's looking at me, you got funny here. When Rebecca does her hair like this, she has like the biggest jumbo thing going on, Rebecca. This is a bit of a poor attempt. And look what I've done, I've not even got it tidy. I've just, well I tried, I tried. I will do this properly one day. Anyway, I'm going to go, I'm going to play with this wig, I'm going to learn a wee bit about what works well for styling it, what doesn't, what I like, and yeah, till next time guys, take care of yourself, remember that you're beautiful, thank you for tuning in, if you've not already, then give a wee thumbs up, <laughs> um, please do like and subscribe to the channel if you can, I look forward to seeing you all again with another wig review, I have so many that I need to get on here. 
but I think it's good for you to be able to actually see the hair on somebody. I do need to pop in my measurements. I've still not done that. I will need to find somewhere in my channel that I can pop in my measurements so that you can go, well, you've said that's 10 inches and that's here. Wait a minute, what length is your face? Um, so I will get all my measurements popped in for you guys soon. But until I manage to do that, just remember still, you are gorgeous and beautiful. There's only one of you in this world. That is super special. So, See you guys soon and yes, I'm very very excited about going to Disney World because I have never been, I have never been in my life. Mum, you should record it at Disney. <gasps> Dara, Disney or as we like to call her, since I'm Mimo, Dara is Damo, Demo. or Demo, she wants to be Demo. Damo? Demo? Damo. 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 Mimo and Damo, Damo. do you want to come in Damo? Zakamo. <laughs> oh. Dakamo. Ah, Dakamo. Da, 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 da. Ah, oh, Dara Kathleen Moffat, Dakamo. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. I like it. Anyway, I totally forgot what I said. Um, yeah, so Dara says that actually we should film while we're in Disney. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe Dara and I will have some Disney vlogs. How many people say yes in the comments and stuff? How many people say yes in the comments? I don't know if anyone will say yes in the comments. We can see. Dara wants us to do a Disney vlog. She wants me to vlog in Disney. So we may do that, shall we? Yeah. I don't want to take my camera around Disney because I'll break it and I can't afford to break my camera and replace it. So, however, good old Apple iPhone. We could we could vlog on this, Dara, should we? Yeah. We will vlog on this. We will even try and, will we try and go on a ride. No, no, I don't like rides. Okay, well, we don't want to ride then. We'll just we'll just have fun and we'll vlog in Florida. Yeah. We'll vlog in Maybe Florida. Right. And we right. will um, be back soon to see you guys. And um, I'm sure... I'm sure you all can't yeah, wait. <laughs> so, till next time, guys. Take care of yourself. I am really going to go now because I constantly say, I'm going to go now, I'm going to go now. Bye, 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 bye. But before I go, before I go, and then end up sitting talking forever because... <laughs> Well, that's what I do, is I do that in your life as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You say we just go into Grand for like five minutes and then like ten minutes later we're still there. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but what can I say? I like to talk to my mum and my dad. I just like to talk. So does Dara. <laughs> She's saying this. She likes to talk I a lot. I talk all the time. She talks all the time. More than me. Anyway guys, no. see you soon. I'll be back soon. I'm going to go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny.